Brian, the head instructor with My Wealth. Welcome to the blog for the day, Ted Kennedy and Healthcare. Those of you that follow my blog know I've been tracking this um, debate and therefore trade. Uh, more specifically, I'm not a political analyst, I'm not a policy maker and so forth, but I am an investor and I do make some trades and so forth. So it's been very interesting. The healthcare stocks have been very volatile uh, based upon this ongoing discussion throughout the nation uh, about health care and those of you again that follow my blogs have, have seen this and so forth and it looks like the health care stocks are starting to come down again one with um, Senator Kennedy's passing the debate ha has evolved a bit um, and it's going to be interesting to see what happens over the next coming weeks where these health care stocks are probably not going to go back up but there's a good chance that they might come back down again I don't claim to be Nostradamus but it's worth checking out and of course, ultimately, you want to make certain that you're doing your own homework and getting one of our courses, whether it be an investing 101 course or a stock trading course. Let's take a look at a chart. Be certain to check out the written blog at www.mywealth.com slash blog. Okay, so here's a chart of Aetna, and I've gone through this in a couple of previous blogs. Um, and here's where the administration really came out strong in favor of a public option. You can see Aetna, all the red... Uh, days that it had here, uh, and then this is how it, as it lost steam and so forth, um, and you can see um, at uh, you know peaking right around the thirty dollar mark, and here's where we're at now. You, you're starting to see. Um, Aetna tick lower and so forth and, and of course if um, you could see them test their old lows uh, of June right here and say the middle of of, of June. Uh, Teddy Kennedy uh, has been a champion f on the side of universal health care for years. And you really don't want to underestimate um, someone's lifelong goals after they pass on. In fact, when John F. Kennedy passed away, a lot of people couldn't even recognize uh, Lyndon Johnson anymore, who, who, of course, took his place as president. He was his vice president. Um, he became completely dedicated to John F. Kennedy's lifetime goals. The debate definitely seems to have evolved to a place where the Republicans have become more defensive. Um, you know, you don't hear them attacking the plan anymore. They're pretty much saying, yeah, we're in favor of reform. We're in favor of reform. So you can start to see um, the trend changing in the debate and therefore some of the health care stocks. Now, if the Democrats are able to get behind something like co-ops or some other major type reform and pick off some Republicans, you know, if that happens, uh, you probably see some of these healthcare stocks go below their mid-June lows. But definitely get educated. Do your own homework. Don't wait. Get educated. Take control of your investing. And we're at www.mywealth.com. Again, be certain to do your own homework here. Uh, if some of the things I'm saying are, are very confusing, you definitely get our Investing 101 course. Uh, we also offer a stock trading course. You want to make certain that you understand charts, you understand uh, the different ramifications of things, and, and risk involved. There are always risk involved. Nobody's free of risk. So, And that's what we go through. We help you control risk. We help you take control of your investing in our courses. So you definitely want to check those out. They're very affordable. Investing 101 course is $99. Our stock trading course is $149. We offer a currency course for even less at $99. And of course, our ETF course at $199. So definitely check these out. I look forward to seeing you in a course and have a great day.